hey guys welcome back to our channel today i'm gonna show you how to do merge by amazon keyword research we're gonna need a couple of tools to do that some of them are free and others are paid these are the one i'm using on my daily upload so i thought it will be good to share it with you the first one we're gonna use is called self-publishing titans if you go to google and you just type in self publishing titan publishing titan you should be able to see it directly here on self publishing titan the tool we're gonna use is the amazon keyword suggestion expander so this is the one here at the bottom you just click on the get chrome get free chrome extension it will go in there and then you install it the second tool is called productor for mesh by amazon so you type productor for mesh by amazon on google you find this one you install it i already have it installed that's why it's here removed from chrome the third one free again is gonna be the tezaris.com website or any other website that you know that you can use to find synonyms the fourth one is a paid tool it is called Keyword Tool Dominator, it's for $50, one lifetime access, but you can get 30% off with the link in my description. So with this one, lifetime access, no recurring billing, you paid only once and that's it. So to continue with the design that we created together yesterday, let's see, I want to create a listing for this t-shirt design that we did together I'd rather be fishing the first thing we're gonna do is to go to amazon.com in incognito mode and there you're gonna type the text which is on the t-shirt I'd rather be fishing what you'll notice is that you have this self-publishing titan that gives you other keywords. I'd rather be fishing. I'd rather be fishing hat. I'd rather be fishing office decor and so on. You want to make sure that when you are typing the quote on the t-shirt, the quote appear. This is the regular Amazon suggestion. But when you write it here, the, the self-publishing titan expansion, give you other keyword. So now we are sure that this phrase appear, someone type in in Amazon, I'd rather be fishing to look for something. And we can see here, I'd rather be fishing t-shirt. So that's the first step. Now, of course, if you are using another code or a code that you create by your own, the code will not appear here. That's not a problem. It means that you are the first one that will create this design. And the other step that we're gonna take will help you find other keywords that you can use. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this code and put it in a Word document or any other notes tool that you have. So this is our first keyword. This must be in our title description and bullet point. Next, since the main niche is the fishing niche, we're gonna go now to the synonym tool to the synonym website and we're gonna type in fishing just to find synonyms of fishing fishing on fishing synonym we can see fly fishing is scary trolling trolling freshwater fishing so in this list not all the keywords we can use I mean we can use all the keywords of course but I two of them are popping up fly fishing and freshwater fishing. I kind of like these two because I never heard about trolling, trolling and so on. But uh, English is not my main language. So if you know trolling, trolling um, and piscari are really related to fishing, that's fine. And I'm pretty sure they are. It's just like I'm, I prefer to use the tools, the, the term that I know. So then I copy this one and paste it here, freshwater fishing and then I'll copy the other one, fly fishing. 
and this can be even another topic another niche that we're gonna create t-shirt on another tool that we're gonna use is the related word again you come in there and you type in phishing execute search and you're gonna find other words that are related to phishing you can see shark you can see tuna so tuna fishing salmon fishing trout fishing catfish fishing all of these are keyword because what we are we have to understand is that if i go to amazon and typing fishing t-shirt what i have is 20,000 results but if i take go to my related keyword and i type tuna fishing or salmon fishing let's say tuna fishing tuna fishing t-shirt now i only have 363 and if you look at the t-shirt here we can see a tuna you can see a tuna and these t-shirt are selling tuna fishing 10 review 872 tuna fishing 700 and all these keywords these are not meshed by amazon but 378 with tuna in there albacore tuna fishing so another albacore tuna fishing so this is what we call niche down it is very important that you niche down but in our example we will just go do a keyword i'd rather be fishing but even this quote if i type in on amazon i'd rather be fishing t-shirt Are they be fishing? I have 677 and 2627. Now let's say t-shirt. I'd rather be fishing t-shirt. Even this one, 4,000 result. So even this is a this is a quote that we should not use because 4,000 result is much. But if I say I'd rather be tuna fishing, 121. Do you understand now the power of keywords? The power of niching down. Do you know how many kinds of fish exist that people are fishing? This is the power of niching down. Guys, so far, if you find any value on this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. I had value. This will really help us and this will really encourage us to continue showing more tips and tricks for Mesh by Amazon. So now let's go back to our tool. We saw that we can niche down uh, by type of fish. Uh, let's find a few keyword here that we can use. We can see uh, not, not fish keeping. This is another story. Fishing, shrimp, uh, crayfish, freshwater fish. I think we already Freshwater fishing here. We already got this one. And um, fish. Uh, and so, okay. Now we are our keyword tool dominator. They have many other tools on top of the Amazon keyword tool that is right there and that uh, I personally use. If I click on, on select this tool, and what I will do here is type in fishing t shirt. And even there is a tip here to enter an asterisk between these two so that the system will look for any item fishing something t-shirt. And I click on search here on the right. And I wait. This tool will go to Amazon, look for any other, uh, look for all keywords. It's, it's, a bin, it's like the expander, but it's very useful for me. It gives much more keyword than the expanded tool that we saw earlier. So you check, you remove the duplicates, and now we have a few keyword again that we can use. Fishing t-shirt for men, so certainly we use for men in our keyword. Funny for boys with graphics, 
these are all keywords that people are typing on Amazon to find fishing t-shirts for women, funny, long sleeve t-shirt, American flag fishing. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I was thinking about fishing. So a lot of keywords as you can see. So we go back to our keyword list. We find we found funny men, boys, and why not girls? Of course, uh, men then women. We also found graphic and I love fishing here. Very important, I love fishing. And if we continue, is there any other one that we can take here? Not on this list. Now, you have to ask yourself a few questions. This is very important even before designing and so on, when you are doing a design. So you have to ask three questions. And the first one is, who is this designed for? When you are looking at your design, who is this designed for? And we find the answer of this question on the list here. The design is for those who love fishing. Someone who, is lo who loves fishing, who go fishing, is called then a fisher man. And why not fisher woman? So men here and women, okay? And the second question is why they're gonna wear it? They're gonna wear it again because they love fishing or maybe they love fly fishing or they love freshwater fishing, okay? This is the why they're gonna wear it. And the last question, how they're gonna find it? They're gonna find it by typing on Amazon fishing t-shirt or maybe funny fishing t-shirt for men the exact keyword that we found here fishing t-shirt for men funny fishing t-shirt for men this is how they're gonna find it and sometime when the design is really well known yeah they, they can directly type i'd rather be fishing and we found this one even on amazon that we saw that together that on amazon people are typing i'd rather be fishing because this quote is now well known. Okay. That's it for this video. In the next one, if you stick with me, you will find out how I'm doing my listing on Amazon. We're going to upload together this exact design that we did together. This exact one. We're going to do it. Upload it directly to Amazon. So I can show you how I will, how I will write the brand, how I will write the title as well as the description and the bullet point. Thank you and have a nice day.